Well, even as the cost of living continues to bite and supermarket prices are soaring, a remarkable 64% of Australians admit to throwing out food every week. Households are spending less on their weekly shop, but many are still sending food to the bin every week. So joining me now for more on this, Chris Ford from Compare to Market to talk through what's happening here. So an interesting survey. Look, I'm not surprised, I guess. Um, it's, it's what happens. I think we've all done it. But has, has the number or the amount gone down? Is there any stats on that because of all the inflation and cost of living we're seeing? Yeah, uh, good morning. Look, no, it isn't surprising. I mean, we all can admit and put our hand up that we have done it, uh, right? But it is just interesting when we layer over this uh, increase in, in cost of living. In terms of a trend, it is something that we will now track um, through this period. But yes, yeah, 64%. Um, and it's those items that, again, when we do that weekly shop, uh, we dive in uh, to the fridge and into the cupboard and go, oh, this has got to go. So it's the vegetables um, it's fruit, it's milk, it's bread. And these are all items that we've seen huge increases in the last 12 months. So maybe it's just a warning um, and some a gent gentle reminder to, to Aussies to really do, do a bit of research, check out the, the fridge um, and the freezer in the cupboard before they do their shop to ensure mm -hmm. they're not wasting money unnecessarily. So vegetables, the clear king there. I mean, leftovers... Um, you know, people are sort of trying to have it again but failing, I guess. It, it sort of reminds me of what often happens in our household. We'll do the shop where we say, we're going to eat healthy this week. Let's get some stuff for meals, including for vegetables. And then it gets to Wednesday and you think, oh, it's a bit hard. I'll, I'll get takeaway. And then you've got the surplus vegetables. So I guess you've got a bit of a decision. Do you give up and just say, look, I'll get takeaway and concede it? Or, you know, buy a few vegetables or do you try to get creative with the vegetables? Uh, your household sounds a lot like mine. Uh, yeah, look, I think the advice is to Australians at the moment is to conserve costs wherever possible. Uh, we have seen uh, huge increases, um, yes, at the supermarket, but also when it comes to takeaway um, and eating out. Uh, so if you are feeling that pinch um, at the hip pocket to try and utilise what is already um, in your, your fridge, your freezer and your cupboard. There is separate research done by Oz Harvest, obviously incredibly uh, reputable um, uh, uh, charity and service to Australians that found we could be wasting up to $1,500 a year um, by not utilising uh, what's already in our cupboard and instead purchasing it again. I can put my hand up um, and say I did it last night doing the mm. weekly grocery shop for the family and uh, did the rounds, bought some um, spreads, some peanut butter um, in this instance, got home and saw there was an unopened one there. Now that's costing me, add that up right across the weekly shop and think about that impact that it's having on your household budget. Composting helps. It's still not the best use of food if it ends up as compost and you know not all, all of us have a, a house where you can have that sort of... Um, set up I suppose and, and you're growing things and, and I know the freezer is always meant to be our friend but then you end up with this freezer full of things you forget to use something you dig down the bottom and you find that bit of meat that's got freezer burn now so that's I know that's always the advice sort of putting things in the freezer but that's got a limit as well and when you mentioned some of those vegetables uh, not all of them go great in the freezer oh that's exactly right I think these are all the different tactics that we can use um, throughout the week, throughout the month. Uh, it, it, it is just to really plan ahead, whether that's at your shop, uh, whether it's before you go, um, then utilising those other tactics, composting, growing your own, um, managing your fridge and your freezer uh, um, um, more consistently, whether it's a monthly reminder just to do the check to see what is in there um, all ready. And then when you go to do that shop, Consider hmm. switching brands rather than going without. Is there a generic or, or non-brand name option that can find you some savings and still give you um, that diet that you need? What we also found in this research is people that are deciding to skip meals. And that's nearly a th uh, one in five. Um, yeah. A third said they were relying greater on frozen foods and a third were eating less meat. Now, these are really trying times. So these are some of the tactics yeah. that we could consider to get that relief. Yeah, yeah, some, some better planning. Not everyone's in that situation. Better planning helps. I'm getting grilled by my colleagues via our, our WhatsApp. They say it's a very me segment, but uh, well, the, the next segment I'll do is mould in um, workplace fridges, I think, because that's an epidemic, but I, I do digress. So um, have you got any personal favourite hacks? See, I reckon the best thing, you know, you've always got leftover veggies, 
throw them in a soup. But my wife just says, I hate soup. So it doesn't help me very much. Any personal hacks you've got? Uh, well, look, I probably uh, uh, get the, uh, the fruit that's going off and, and chuck it into my little fella's lunchbox, uh, lunchbox to go away. That's probably not a good tip either. Uh, <laughs> look, I, I think it is um, ma mainly around that planning ahead of time to maximise uh, those savings. It comes to consider now when it comes to grocery shop, yes, we're saying we're spending less. What we've also seen in the grocery shop is shrinkflation. So our products getting smaller sizes but costing us more. So planning yeah. ahead when we go to the grocery shop is really key. Know the tricks that are played at the major supermarkets when it comes to those specials at the end of the aisles. At eye line is buy line. Um, so consider that unit price above and below your eye um, just to try and recoup some costs there and then managing your week more appropriately, still finding um, those guilty pleasures and takeaways when you can. Yeah, I've, I've figured out my one-year-old doesn't know the difference between fruit. It's it's always fine. It's not going to hurt him, but maybe it's past its best, but he loves it. All right, Chris, thank you. Good advice for those out there to uh, save a bit of money, help save the planet as well.